Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face? When I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship. I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox. And you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want, but you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there! It's SmackDown's newest acquisition. You gotta give credit to SmackDown general manager The Miz for making sure the blue brand wasn't left without a champion after what happened at SummerSlam. Despite my feelings on the quality of said champion, yes, I agree. Thank you, Miz, for doing a wonderful job. Will the new champion's reign on SmackDown be short-lived? Or is this the start of a long and successful journey? Atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. 
What an onslaught. He's got the answer for that one. He avoids the damage. Oh, what a clothesline. Ouch. Vicious blow to the back of the neck. Up and up. Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. Counter. And now there's an opening. Up and down. Like Saxtonation, but better. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Come on. Chair to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Yes. Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be The Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake, and more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach.
A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubt is wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will lead with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. Double stomp to the legs. Powerless position to be in right now. Just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Oh, he knew what was coming. Just carrying the opposition anywhere. Oh, the table. He might never be the same after that trip through the table. Yeah, that looked particularly terrible. I don't see any way to come back from that. That's just hard to watch. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens needs to find an opening. Firm control. Oh, man. Kick to the face. <laughs> belly to belly. Vicious. The challenger is looking shaken. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. He is fixing to take it all here. Going for it all. Interesting timing, to say the least. Uh-oh. Just a step ahead of Owens. And now the pressure's mounting on him. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. Laying waist to the back of the neck. Great leg strength. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. And back in the ring we go. I don't know, climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. And it's never too early to try. Striking while the iron is hot. Questionable timing of this move, Cole. Oh. KO in a compromised spot. 
T-Bone into a power slam. Impressive. The champ has this one in hand now. Hey, don't look now, but that ladder is lined up perfectly. Showtime. He's trying for it now. Gotta act fast. It is all or nothing at this point. The champion retains. Hello, champ. I hope you're forgiving old time a button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished. Now, my fighting days may be behind me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a finisher match. The anticipation is palpable as each competitor is already looking for that perfect moment to unleash their devastating finishing moves. If I were in the Dark Horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the blow kick from Sheamus. Well, if the champ is in that ring praying, he's quickly going to be prey and yesterday's news. One response after another, back and forth we go. Turn your lights out. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. From the Kinshasa! That's good, Cole. Oh, man, what a boot. The Celtic Warriors' chances are waning. The power of Sheamus being suppressed. Double stomp to the legs. Sheamus looked like he may have been the one to receive some lumps there. Oh, and a forearm. Oh, vicious body shot. Rip cord into the lariat. Oh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Stop after stop, relentless. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Up and down, what a gourd buster. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. It's obvious to see how focused he is now. No way! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh, face first off the apron. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Headed to the top now. Lift off. Dropping the bone. And Sheamus really having the fight brought to him there. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Ah. And Sheamus can't seem to get out of harm's way. Look, Sheamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. He turns it around. Oh, here we go. That's it. Calling it by knockout. Here is your winner, Daryl the Ninja Williams! Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. Sheamus has to be fuming right now. I don't know what more he could have done in the ring tonight. Champ, apparently Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Ugh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here.
make it a chairs match. So he doesn't forget the champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. Hold on to your seats as this one gets underway. We'll see if this match lasts longer than a catering line for the champ, allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks? Uh, glory, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. Both arms captured and vitriolic stomps to stomp in every single part of his body. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. <laughs> Hitting a Falcon Arrow! <laughs> Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Got to disrupt Tony's focus. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. What impact! Right in the kisser. D'Angelo looking powerless to every attack. Tony's on the wrong side of every exchange. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. He's looking to take this fight to a whole new level. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. And now gets tossed into the ring. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Looking wobbly in the corner. Mounted in palm strikes. Oof. Oh. Hooked him up. And a suplex. One over the 10th Street Slam. He has him right where he wants him. Tony's in the grasp. T-bone into a power slam. That could be curtains for Tony. Two! An emphatic victory! Here is your winner, Daryl the Ninja Williams! Inconceivable! How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounded like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. I bet Tony D'Angelo will be giving his associates a real earful about this loss. And here's the superstars worked hard to get where they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh yeah, and just look into their eyes. They do not plan on stepping down anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match could be a declarative statement.
And then there's Omos looming across the ring. The Nigerian giant doesn't leave much physical space for his opponents in the ring. In there, you're only mere inches away from the destructive grasp of Omos. He possesses a type of ferocity opponents rarely see. Nothing flashy, just pure annihilation in the eyes of Omos. Getting him into the corner. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. Perched on the top rope, looking to inflict even more damage. Oh my God, not from up there. What on earth? Oh my God. And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. The stakes are higher than ever as Omos challenges the dark horse for the WWE Universal Championship. And we've got to be ready for anything after their last match brought the house and the ring down. I'm pretty sure precautions have been taken, so one of these superstars will be the only thing taken down. Man, just a multitude of strikes right, right to the face. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Climbing up to the top now. To the sky. Diving leg drop. Mamma mia! No! Somersault plancha. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. good grief. Turn your lights out. And the pressure on Omos continues to mount. Omos has to exhibit some resiliency now. Hard on side kick. just to keep his opponents. Paying it right back with a reversal. Out. Oh, vicious running knee lift. <laughs> 110 Street Slam. <laughs> oh, here it comes. <laughs> T-ball into a power slam. Impressive. Looks like the champ is going to retain. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Daryl the Ninja Williams!
all if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse Ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me. To inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horse's Wrestling Rodeo. Uh, okay. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I got lucky? I'm saying you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm gonna base my opinion of you on that. Not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taking the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as Fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Pick your best one and have them meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it. Hey, when did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM, you being one of them. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. 
I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages, remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting matfished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah, and it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Strength with the suplex. <clears throat> Gut red suplex. Making it look easy. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. JD's got a fuck. Here we go. Diving leg drop. Mamma mia. And that will begin to test McDonough's composure. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Ooh, the forearm connects. He can do it here. The shoulder up before two. Could be in search of a second win now. Yeah. Firm control. Boom! And a big boot. Wow, what a kick. Bang in the neck. And now he's on the downside. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. Full Nelson applied. Up and down. Like Saxton Nation, but better. Man, strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. Oh, and a knee to the face. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. 110th Street slam. He's reeling, slowly getting up. He has a hold of JD. T-ball into a power slam. Impressive. This spells trouble for McDonough. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Daryl the Ninja Williams. Nobody.
he can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. JD isn't going to let this loss slow him down, though. Think of it as fuel for him moving forward.